Thanks for inviting us in at 6 o'clock and we begin tonight with breaking news. Eight people injured in a crash on the east side of Indianapolis. Six of the eight are children. So let's get right out to Logan Gay. She's been at the scene for the last hour and a half. Logan, witnesses have been calling this crash horrific. What have you learned? That's right, Scott. Horrific is the word. And if you look at the scene, you can see why. If you zoom over across the street at that vehicle where those officers are looking at, there were seven people, seven victims in that vehicle. Six of them were children. Three of those children are in critical condition and three are in stable condition. And if we go down the road here to the left, there is a Hellcat down there. One person was in that car. Now, what we do know also is that originally IMPD said that someone died on the scene here, but we now know that that person was taken to the hospital and was revived and is now in critical condition. So there are no fatalities in this incident. Well, I've been here. I spoke with two people. One person who lives in the area, he says that this street has been a problem area for a while now. He says people speed up and down this road and they've done everything they could to slow them down. Another person actually witnessed this crash. He's a father himself and he actually helped rescue some of those kids from that SUV like vehicle. Check out what he has to say about what he witnessed and what he experienced. And all of a sudden, we just see a Hellcat flying, coming down out the way. And then we see a, uh, the truck creeps out, trying to come across the intersection and whatnot, and he smokes him. I seen him hit his brakes. He wiggled like he was trying to avoid the car, but he couldn't do anything how fast he was flying. He hits the car. The car spins around. I see it like a body, like fly and debris go everywhere. And you can see that debris right here for yourself. It's spread out all over this road. There are evidence markers in the road. There are investigators here right now trying to figure out how this happened. While they do that, this area will be completely shut down for several hours, and they're asking drivers to avoid the area as they continue this investigation. Once we get more information, not only about what happened here, but also to the people about the people in these cars, we will get that information to you as soon as possible on air and online. Scott. All right, Logan Gay on the east side of Indianapolis with that breaking news tonight. Thank you so much. We'll be staying at that scene until police wrap up there and reopen the road. Logan will bring us the latest on that investigation and the condition of those eight people who were injured. Her report's coming up tonight on 13 News at 11.